Hi everyone, um, I'm going to make this video today just to um, go over query string values. Um, there's a number of different methods you can use to pass data from page to page using PHP. For example, sessions. Um, you can also use on the client, you can use HTML storage. Um, the one we're going to focus on today but is um, query strings and also how you can use the get method to um, grab those values, okay, and pass them to an R page. And we're also looking at passing one parameter, two parameter, three values to different pages, okay? So to start with here, you can see that I've got a welcome.html page. I've got a simple HTML anchor tag or a hyperlink. It's going to pass it to the welcome1.php page, which is up here. And it's passing the name value pair, okay, even though it's actually called name, it's just a identifier and the value on the right hand side of the assignment operator. The question mark um, is the query string, okay, the values, the name value pairs that follow that is the actual query string itself, okay, and how we'll pass those values to the next page. So let's have a quick look at it. Here's a link here. So if I click it, um, if, now, if we first look at the URL, again, it's passing the question mark, the name as identifier, and the value on the right-hand side of the assignment operator is mark. See, we've written this out here. So let's look at the code in the PHP page to see how it done it. Um, so I'm just going to jump over to welcome.1.php. You can see here, here's my block of PHP here that I'm concerned with. Um, I'm using the get method here. And then here um, I've got the identifier as name. What this means is that PHP is going to look at after the question mark in the URL. It's going to look for an identifier called name, okay? And it's going to grab its value on the right hand side, okay? Name value pair, okay? And it's going to assign it to the name variable and then write it out, this string out, sorry, to the page. Send it back to the browser, welcome to our website, and concatenate it with the value of the name variable. Okay, pretty straightforward. And that gives it this here. Okay, now the problem you might come across is if someone does something like this. Okay, it's actually going to pass this in. If I go to view page source, it's actually passing this as a HTML tag. The browser reads it as something it's got to do, basically format it as a HD1 element. And we don't really want to do that because these are reserved characters, for example, a tag, okay, is a reserved character. So what we can do is we can use a HTML entity, and um, sorry, we can use a, uh, we can convert that to HTML entity, and um, which is just a piece of text, a string that begins with an ampersand ends with a semicolon, and it basically displays reserved characters um, as an entity which would otherwise be interpreted as HTML code. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the HTML code here. Um, so I'll do it down here. In fact, you know what? I'm actually going to, this is a better way of doing it actually. I'm going to take this up here. <clears throat> Right, I'm just going to delete that just now. So um, it's going to run this built-in PHP function. It's going to grab the, the, the value of name from the URL query string, and it's going to convert it into a HTML entity if it's got any reserved characters in there, assign it to the variable name, and then write it out to the screen. Okay, so let's try it now. Okay, and you see how it's not actually, it's right now as a H1 tag to the screen. Again, you've done this before, the HTML entities um, in previous learning you've done, but there is the entity for H1 there. Okay, see it begins with an ampersand and it ends with a semicolon, and that's a, a, a the, to let the browser know to, dis, to write it out as the text, H1, as opposed to display and treat it as a tag, which would change the format of your page. Okay, right, okay, so that's that one. Now the next thing we're going to look at is passing two values. Okay, so I'm going to 
Okay. I'm just going to comment this one out here. Okay. So I'm going to go to the Welcome To page this time. Again, it's this time it's name Mark Ampersand means, oh, it's Mark here. Let's just fix that. Right, so it's name Mark Ampersand means there's a, another name value pair going to follow. So it's P codes, the name, the value is G12BP, which is the made up postcode. Okay, so let's have a quick look at this one now. Okay, let's refresh that. So I'm going to pass it again. So you can see here it's welcome to our website, Mark. Your postcode is G12BP. So it's there's there and there's the value there. Okay, so let's go into welcome to. So I've done that again, the PHP block. I'm just looking in the URL for the name, the identifier name. I'll grab its value, tidy it up. And if there's any reserved characters in there, change it to a HTML entity so it doesn't um, send any format back to your web page. Assign it to the variable name. And then it's going to look for a P code, name value pair. It's going to tidy it up and assign it to the variable postcode and then it's going to write it out to the screen here okay by concatenating it into a string so that's what it does there okay right the next one we're going to look at is just comment this out is passing three values across again you can just build as many up as you want but um, i'm just going to demonstrate up to three and i think that'll um be satisfactory for today um, so it's another hyperlink here we've got the name value pair so it's name mark ampersand this is the second one p code g12 bp and then the third one after the ampersand is i keep moving that about here right that's it is city and the value is glasgow and i'm going to get into welcome three to do that Okay, so let's just quickly go here, refresh that. Okay, so you can see here after the query string and the question mark, name is Mark, then the second value after the ampersand is P code is G12BP, and the third value after the ampersand is city, name value pair. Name city, value is Glasgow, and it's Mark, your postcode is G12BP, and you live in Glasgow. Okay, so let's look at the welcome3.php, which is the page it's going to. That's there. Again, it's going to grab the values from the URL. Name, tidy it up again. Convert any reserved characters to HTML entities, assign it to the variable name. P code, grab the value. Okay, on the right hand side. G12BP in this case, tidy it up and I sent to variable postcode. And then city, tidy it up and I sent to variable city and then write them out. Welcome to our website, concatenate the value of the variable. Your postcode is concatenated the value from postcode and you'll have in concatenate it with the value of city. Okay, so this concludes this um, lesson on query string values. Um, now remember to leave any comments you have below. Um, uh, uh, let me know how you're getting on as well. And remember to subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified of any new content as I post it. And I'll um, see you next time.